Hello everybody, it's time for another Media Guide program opening and today it's a program from the famous Ohio State Michigan game from 2006. To this day, it's the only time that entering the game, one the two teams were one and two in the nation, and it was a great game with Ohio State winning 42 to 39. Ohio State would then go on to get upset in the next round in the national championship game against Florida. I can't right offhand seem to remember where that was, but I remember the game pretty vividly. Where it's where Ted Ginn took the opening kickoff back for the for a touchdown was injured on the play, and was the only touchdown Ohio State scored all game. So this one's a little awkward because it appears to have everything in it, which is good. Even the the little cards, which is nice to have, but it's a little awkward to keep open. And the company here uh, looks like a law, a law firm. Gives you the Big Ten standings and both teams' lineups, etc. on both in, in an entire roster, which is always very nice ad for uh, Value City, which is a Columbus, based in Columbus, a national chain. Again, some of these are kind of awkward to hold, to keep open. There's a uh, live concert, some various soon to be coming to the Schottstein Center, along with Ohio State basketball. It's a little blurb on the game itself. Sorry for any uh, glare, but that's how I have to hold the uh, hold it open to keep it open. Here is a look at the Michigan Wolverines and the Buckeyes with their coaches at the time, Jim Trestle for Ohio State and Lloyd Carr for Michigan. So look at some of Ohio State's seniors at that particular time. The schedule and results for the entire Big Ten. On Bill Willis, former Buckeye and uh, College Football Hall of Famer. Here's an article of What It Means to Be a Buckeye by Chris Spielman, who has recently left his job with Fox Sports to work in the front office of the Detroit Lions. Uh, Jim Trestle doing the O. Here's a sideways shot of the 2006 Buckeyes. A message from two-time Heisman Trophy winner Archie Griffin for motorist insurance. There's the Buckeye Corner. I've been there several times. Jim Trestle with Troy Smith. And there's a the bio for Coach Trestle. And here's the remaining Ohio State assistant coaches. believe any of these have become head coaches since then. Although I'm not sure, but I see for some reason Tim Beckman, I'm not, I seem to get Tim Beckman mixed up with a, with the former Illinois coach named Tim, but I don't know why I do that. There's Luke Fickle, who's now the head man at Cincinnati. Daryl Hazel, who has been, uh, who formerly was at Kent State and formerly at Purdue. I don't think he's a head coach right now anywhere. Ask how to get a free phone tattoo. Okay, right on that. Some of the various football support staff. When you're dealing with Big Ten schools, there are just a ton of people that keep that keep the program running. We'll go through the Buckeyes real quick here. I mean, because the, the, the players, so many more players on the team than there used to be. Even now, which seems like it was this is 15 years ago, it seems like it was about five. And there's the aforementioned Ted Ginn. Anthony Gonzalez, who's now a U.S. congressman. And again, I'm, I apologize for the glare. It's just one of, gonna be one of those things uh, in order to keep the book open for a while. It's, I don't want to break the binding on.
Donato's, which is a Columbus chain. Good, not great. I've had better, but I've had worse. Ohio Stadium, the big horseshoe, which is really, it's always fully enclosed now, so it's a horseshoe and almost name only now. This is how it's laid out. Undefeated at home from Hoover Vacuum. Here's some of the Ohio State traditions. Let's see if this will hold open for a little while. Of course, everybody knows about the, the gold pants for if you defeat Michigan, script Ohio, and dotting the I, etc. Here's Ohio State's cheerleaders, along with Brutus Buckeye. There's a receive five dollars off this selected and I'm like Kroger. Brian Rabisky, who would be drafted by the Cleveland Browns and was kind of a disappointment. This will be a little bit different because of that card. I don't want to mess this up too much. So there'll be a little we'll to try to get through this a little bit so I don't bend up the card explaining the man on the moon. The team pastor. So, I didn't skip over Michigan uh, because I wanted to there. Trust me, it was it's just that card is making it very difficult to stay open. Uh, it's a transformation of Troy Smith. He would, wind it. he would be the Heisman winner that year. There's some more on future Congressman Anthony Gonzalez, who would play for the Indianapolis Colts as well. Okay, this uh, the person that had this program. Uh, put in the Sports Illustrated article from the game. Is it is enclosed here? That's a nice touch. Very nice. And there's another card from State Farm, which doesn't help keep this open. Uh, our good friends at NCAA Compliance. They only pay attention to that when they feel like it. More on Ohio State. Historic landmarks, academic excellence, various Buckeyes with academic awards, all academic All American, All Big Ten. Karen Holbrook, the president of this college, the board of trustees. Gene Smith, the athletic director, who is still the athletic director, not a favorite of mine. And I'll tell you why. When Ohio State with the tattoo gold pants thing that cost Jim Trussell a job. If Ohio State under Gene Smith would have made the right decision and just said, we're self-imposing a one-year sanction, they only went six and six that season. And that refusal to do that on his part, they wound up going to the Gator Bowl and they lost. And because they didn't do that, the NCAA slapped a one-year uh, probation on them, which was Urban Meyer's first year. They went 12-0. and 0, So you had an undefeated team that didn't get to play for the national title because of a dumb decision by administration. They should have just taken the hit in the 6-6 six and six season, knew that it was going to be a difficult year, to, and taken the hit. But people make mistakes, I suppose. It's the Big Ten Conference. This is before uh, Maryland, Nebraska, and Rutgers admittance into the Big Ten. Delta Dental. There's Kirk Herb Street for National City Bank. And all the athletic department staff. And we're going to have to change this again because now there's another card all the way in the back. I feel it coming. Sports Radio. It's a local sports radio station in Columbus. Jim Delaney, the man that brought you Nebraska, Rutgers, and Maryland. Uh, hi, Buckeye Sports Bulletin, which I was a loyal subscriber to for years, but it's just with the way of the world now, with the internet, things just, it's just almost not worth it because all the news is old by the time you get it. Uh, Conrad's College Gifts, which I've been to several times. And that location just closed recently. I believe that the, they said that they're doing that so they could expand uh, parking for the uh, football stadium and for uh, St. John's Arena. There's uh, the 
BCS and the 2006-2007 bowls, Ohio State's bowl history, and their Heisman winners, which would add Eddie George to that list, or I'm sorry, would add Troy Smith to that list after this season. Ohio State's various retired jersey numbers, Buckeye All-Americans, football at Hooters, only been, haven't been to Hooters in, we don't have one here, it has been 25 years, the last one I was in was in Knoxville, Tennessee, for Smoky Mountain Wrestling Week, first team all Big Ten, all-time captains up, up to that date. We're getting close to that card. I can feel it as it's getting harder to keep open. The various Buckeye head coaches up to that point, which has now been added since then. Urban Meyer and now Ryan Day. And there's the Buckeye Club. And then there's this in the back, which folds open, which I didn't expect. That's the problem. And that's of Archie Griffin, the two-time Heisman winner, as we noted. So, there we go. Uh, a, a, a tremendous game that most people remember. And it's also remembered because of the HBO Ohio State-Michigan series, uh, the, the one-hour special that they did, which HBO stuff, documentaries on that, is always awesome. And it's built around that game. So, there you go. 2006, Ohio State-Michigan. Check me out at the blog at thoughtsofrs.blogspot.com. And uh, give a like, subscribe, whatever floats your boat. It does help me, uh, I guess, a little bit with YouTube. But it's also nice knowing that somebody's watching these besides me just making them. So thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.